Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the National Business Aviation Association show in uh, Orlando, Florida. I'm at Orlando Executive with Scott Fry of uh, Garmin. Scott now handles the uh, retrofit of the G5000 among other units. And we're going to talk a little bit about the G5000 which is in the Beach Jet 400A that we're sitting in. Uh, Scott, the um, Garmin has been retrofitting the G1000 and turboprops. Now you're moving up the G5000 and higher price jets, which the 400A is. Tell us a little bit about this G5000 installation oh, here. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, the G5000 installation is a retrofit that we are working on for the Part 25 market for the Beach Jet 400A and 400XP. It actually features three 12-inch displays and two GTC 570 Garmin touchscreen controllers. Uh, it is a good uh, airplane for a retrofit. There's a lot of them out there. A lot of the customers find them and love them. And they need to be upgraded to comply with some of the next-gen requirements, such as ADS-B out and uh, WAS and LPV capabilities. What's involved? Uh, this is fairly major surgery to put this system into this airplane. What, what all is involved uh, structurally and uh, electronically to get this system in here? Well, we interface with current, uh, the current electrical bus system, but it is a major overhaul. I mean, we pull everything out of the airplane, uh, new displays, new Garmin Autopilot. It is our GFC Garmin Autopilot that we use in other platforms such as G1000 and G3000 airplanes. What are some of the capabilities of the G5000, say, over the G1000, which, which most of us have flown? Uh, well, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's newer technology. Uh, we use the touchscreen controllers to manage the uh, FMS flight planning, uh, radio, uh, comm, and navigation, and transponder functionality. Uh, with the uh, higher resolution displays, the 12-inch uh, widescreens, we're able to do split-screen functionality, which is, which is a nice feature. Uh, it enables the pilot to... Uh, uh, put multiple amounts of information on the uh, the display so that he can have more information at his disposal for uh, for better decision making. So I'm looking at uh, th three displays here, two primary flight displays and an MFD in the middle, then I got the two touch screens and this control set extends back further and what's down here on the pedestal? Down here on the pedestal we can control our full and split screen capability for our PFDs and then on the MFD we can control our split screen functionality on the GTC 570 itself. And these, by the looks of them, have a very, very much a GTM look to them. So they yeah, that's correct. Uh, it's the same type of hardware architecture. You know, we like to take uh, our, our Garmin technology and spread it across our product lines. Also, makes it easier for the customers to transition from one system to another. So it has GTN uh, symbology or icons, as we like to say, uh, that's used on the touchscreen, just like the GTN. What would something like this uh, cost in the 400A as a retrofit? Do we have numbers on it yet? Uh, we're expecting uh, a price point somewhere between $400,000 and $450,000 uh, for the equipment installation and, and out the door to the customer. And that's on an airframe that uh, typically sells for a couple million, I guess, or a little less? Yeah, around that. Okay, so it's, it's quite a value upgrade by the same. It, it is a quite a, a value upgrade, and it takes a lot of the older avionics uh, that are in these platforms today and it brings them up to the next-gen requirements, gives them WAS LPV capabilities, and just gives the cockpit a total refresh for many years to come. Okay, well, thanks very much for the briefing, Scott. Thank you. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the National Business Aviation Association show in Orlando, Florida. I've been speaking with Scott Fry of Garmin. Thanks for watching.